Hi guys, Olive here. In today's video, I would like to tell you about some booktube channels that I think you should be watching. I do one of these shout out videos every single year. I really enjoy staying engaged with the smaller booktube community and I am always on the lookout for new channels that I will really vibe with. I also owe a huge debt of gratitude to all of those booktubers who have shouted out my channel over the years. I would not be where I am today without their support. And so I think it's really important to not forget where you came from, but also to pay it forward. So I have a list of 10 channels that I would like to discuss with you in today's video. When I was putting together the list of channels that I would like to shout out, I had a few different things in mind. The first thing was I wanted them to all be channels that I have really been enjoying lately, which they all are. I also wanted to pick creators who are still actively posting. I know sometimes it can be really heartbreaking when you discover a new creator and then they all of a sudden stop making content. So I did pick creators who are still active actively posting on booktube and I also picked people who I think you will enjoy if you really like my content. I do watch a lot of creators basically just for their personalities. I really like them as people, but I figured if you're here watching my channel, then you like the books that I read and I wanted to pick creators who read at least somewhat similar to me. So let's get started on the list. Get ready to hit that subscribe button. First up is Brooke at Band Brooke, who is a booktube newbie, just like a few other people who are featured on this list. She joined our community in October after having lurked in the community for about a year which is about how long I lurked as well. She works in a library, though she says not as a librarian. I'm not exactly sure what her job title is, but she does have a master's in education. She reads very similarly to me, reading literary fiction, nonfiction, as well as some poetry and genre fiction. She's produced some great content in the five-ish months or so that she's been a part of our community, including quite a few individual book reviews, which is really wonderful to see. I love seeing newbies who are unafraid to post individual book reviews because they are great content despite not being the most popular types of videos here on booktube. She is so wonderful to listen to. She exudes intelligence and composure and gives great summaries of the books that she reads. I have really been enjoying her content and I'm excited to see the direction in which she takes her channel. Another newer booktuber who I've really been enjoying watching and who I see a ton of potential in is Alyssa at The Redhead. I found Alyssa's channel during Nonfiction November, which is a time of year in which I find a lot of great new channels because I make a concerted effort every single year to watch every single nonfiction November TBR that people post. So Alyssa, of course, reads nonfiction, but also a good amount of literary fiction and classics. And what's really intriguing about Alyssa is that she is very knowledgeable about art and art history. I think in one of her videos, she talked about being a student of art history. That is not my area of expertise. So I am really interested to hear more on those topics from her. She has this really cool, relaxed vibe to her and she's really worldly. She does a ton of travel. In general, I'm just really intrigued by her taste and by her perspective, and I'm really excited to see more from her. I would also like to recommend Bria Felician, who is a journalist and a writer in addition to a booktuber. Her channel is one that I have just recently found, but I have been loving her videos. She has been doing this for under six months, and yet she is completely comfortable behind a camera. She has a wealth of personality and camera presence, just really, really engaging to watch. She does read nonfiction, which is something that I'm always looking for out of a new booktube channel, but she does read fiction as well, including romance, which I've been getting a lot more into lately. She's been doing a great series of recommendations on her channel for Black History Month, all of the recommendations have been fantastic. She does more mixed media type of content on her channel, so it's not just about books. She does other types of videos as well. Love her, can't wait to see more. The next booktuber that I think you should be subscribed to is Alba over at her channel, Siriella. Alba is Puerto Rican and has a love for Puerto Rican literature. She is endeavoring to draw more attention to it here on booktube. She does also read nonfiction. I was lucky enough to find her channel during nonfiction November. She has this wonderful curiosity about the world and about other cultures and also has this calm, mature tone to her channel, which I really appreciate. Highly recommend her channel. Another booktuber I strongly recommend is Debbie at The Book Ponderer. I have to say in regards to Alba and now Debbie, it's really nice seeing people outside of what has become the traditional age range for a booktuber. We see a lot of people in their teens, 20s, and 30s, but I think we acutely lack 
voices from people outside of that age range. I was first introduced to Debbie during Nonfiction November, and I have to say that hands down, she had the most creative interpretation of our challenges in 2018. She took the time to find a book for each of our word pairings that was about one of the words in the pairing, but had the other word in the pairing within the title. I was at the time and still am in awe of that interpretation. I loved it so much. And I've been a subscriber ever since. So she does read nonfiction, but I have also seen her pick up classics, literary fiction, thrillers, and poetry. She does read really widely, obviously. And she puts up a good mix of content on her channel, including some really interesting discussion videos. She's been a part of the community for a little over a year, and I think she deserves a lot more attention than what she has gained so far because she is great. Go check out her channel. Another booktuber who does innovative things is Amy over at Amy Gets Lit. Amy's channel is on the newer side and what makes her unique is the fact that she does voiceovers instead of appearing on camera. I know she's not the first or only booktuber to do this. One of my closest friends here on booktube, Devin at Indie Insomniac, does the same thing. I really like channels that do voiceovers and I think it's great seeing more booktubers making this artistic choice because I think it sets a great precedent. I think there may be a lot of people out there who want to join the booktube community, but who may not want to appear on camera for whatever reason. But if they see other booktubers making the choice to do voiceovers instead, and they themselves think that that might be a direction in which they would like to take their own channel, then they see that it's possible. And I think Amy's channel is a great example of everything you can do with a voiceover only channel, because although she only does voiceovers, her videos are interesting to watch as well as to listen to because she includes audio and video snippets as well as pictures all about the topic that she's discussing. She just really does a top-notch job on her channel. She has two really cool original tags that are based on songs that you might find in an 80s and then a 90s mixtape. I think that's really cool. I need to get around to doing those. She also reads really widely. I've seen her read literary fiction, nonfiction, and historical fiction with a focus on the backlist, which I love. I love the reading taste. I love the creativity. I really strongly recommend you check out her channel. Next up is the lovely Tiffany at Hierarchy of Reads, whose channel name is a pun off of Maslow's Hierarchy of Needs, which is not only fantastic, but indicative of her interests, and she has a background in psychology. She's a big reader of nonfiction, which of course I love, but she does read fiction as well. She has a really great thirst for knowledge that I really love about channels that heavily feature nonfiction. She also just has a wonderful warm presence. I have found her so enjoyable to watch, but also to talk to. She is incredibly nice. I really think highly of her, and of course recommend that you give her channel a try. The next two channels I would like to recommend are ones that you may have heard me mention once or twice over the past few months since I have been speaking with them and taking recommendations from them, but the first is the incomparable Kazen over at Always Doing. I found her channel when she was first starting out and have been happily singing her praises from the rooftops ever since because I think she's the bee's knees. She's an American living and working in Japan as a medical interpreter, which is so cool to begin with, but she has this wide-ranging reading taste everywhere from paranormal fiction to romance romance to medical nonfiction. She was a blogger first and still is, so she really knows how to structure a review and talk intelligently about the books that she reads. We have really similar taste in nonfiction. I have put so many books on my TBR off of her recommendations, and she's actually inspired me to get more into romance. I cannot recommend her channel highly enough. And then there's the fabulous Andrea over at Infinite Text. I was lucky enough to get to do a buddy read with Andrea in January, and she was unlucky enough to get to do a buddy read with me because I am the worst at buddy reads. My life always implodes right as I'm starting one, I swear to God. She of course reads a lot of nonfiction, which is where a lot of our tastes overlap, but she does read a little bit of everything. She's very death positive and reads a lot of books on death and dying, which is something that I really enjoy reading as well as morbid as that sounds. She works as a librarian, and in addition to all of the videos that she does about the books that she reads, she also does some videos about the more physical aspects of books. She recently did two videos 
about that old book smell, what makes it, and then did a follow-up video to that one about how to prevent decay in your books. Her content is informative, but also fun, and I just think she's fantastic. And the last booktuber that I would like to recommend to you in today's video is Tori over at That Cozy Book Nook. Normally in these shout out videos, I like to recommend channels that have fewer than 1000 subscribers, because that can be a very difficult milestone to reach for a variety of different reasons. But I wanted to mention Tori because she used to have a more active channel, but then took an extended break. I was elated to see that she had come back to the community. But just like it's difficult for channels to reach that first 1000 subscribers, I have noticed that those channels that take an extended break sometimes experience a slowdown in engagement when they come back. And I really don't want to see that happen to Tori. She's way too good for that. She is more of a fiction reader, focusing on literary fiction, historical fiction, sci-fi, and fantasy. But we really do have a lot of cool overlap in our fiction reading tastes. She recently read and loved If We Were Villains by M.L. Rio. So I strongly suggested that she prioritize The Likeness by Tana French, since they both have that secret history-esque vibe to them. And I was thrilled to see on social media that she ended up reading it and loving it. She's so personable and reads great books. She has been on booktube longer than anyone else on this list. So if you find yourself enjoying her channel, there is a little bit of a backlist of videos that you can go through and binge if that's what you're into. So those were 10 recommendations of some seriously great creators who I think are well worth subscribing to. If you would like to check out their channels or would like to subscribe, I will put links to all of their channels down in the description box below. I always mean to make more than one of these videos per year, but I always get caught up making other content. But I will say that I pretty frequently shout out channels on my Twitter if you would like to follow me there. If you have any comments or questions about anything you've seen in this video or about anything in general, or if you have any good booktube channel recommendations for me, I would love to hear from you in the comment section below. But you can also find me on a variety of different places on social media, including Twitter. The links to all of my profiles are down in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I will see you in the next video. Bye.